Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here with an amazing prophetic dream from one of our regular viewers, Sister C, who goes by the code name of Believe. Now I'm going to see if I can navigate over here. I want you to hear this dream. This is something to pray about, you guys. I'm serious. I'm not playing. Because when I read it, I was like, whoa. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, listen to this. Hi, Pat. Hope all is well. Now, this is last week's dream. She had this last week. Listen to this. I was in an old apartment I used to live in, in a town called Elizabeth, New Jersey, just outside of New York City. I was in my apartment chatting with some friends. It was evening time. All of a sudden, my husband called me over to the window where he was standing. He told me he wanted me to look out the window because he thought he saw a meteor hit the apartment building. I looked. There was a huge hole in the side of the building. <laughs> we were all surprised and didn't know what was going on, so we, we went to the front of the apartment, which faced a parking lot. When we opened the door to look outside, we saw other neighbors rushing out of their homes trying to figure out what was going on. Again, this was night. I believe around 11 p.m.-ish. People were wandering all outside trying to figure it all out. As I looked at the, par at the uh, parking lot, I saw two huge craters, holes in the ground. So we again thought it was a media that hit. Someone said that it could possibly be bombs. We looked up at the dark night sky and saw white balls going across the sky. I say balls because they were at a far distance. They were at a far distance. So I couldn't quite make it out. If they were celestial matter, or actually some type of man-made explosive of some sort. But there was a sense of urgency and not knowing, but knowing that something not good was coming. I was saying things such as, Lord, I, oh, I grabbed my neighbor's hands and I started praying and I was saying, uh, Lord, Jesus, we welcome you. We ask you to protect us. We love you. We trust you. After praying, I went to go back with my to my apartment with my family. But as I walked in, I, I, I turned around and took one last look up at the sky. And now, there was such an eerie feeling as I saw these white balls coming closer to the earth. But even more alarming was this huge, I mean big, big planet it was greenish in color and it was heading on a collision course straight towards us here on earth i knew it was just a matter of time before it was going to hit earth there was also a very strange sound a, a strange noise that accompanied it i can't tell what it was but it could have been like a trumpet i then woke up I've never dreamed of an asteroid or meter, meteor. I have dreamt of planes and bombings, but this is the first with something like this. I don't know what is going to happen, but so many are saying that the Lord's day is very close. Thank you. Your effort to make an impact. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, your friend and sister in Christ, Jesus, Sister C. Boy, that's something to think about, isn't it? I am telling you, when you look at something like that, and you think about what could be coming, people talk about Nibiru, they talk about Planet X, they, I mean, who knows what the government is not telling us? If it's inevitable, I guess they figure we might as well let them eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow they die. I don't know. It may just be a dream. I don't know.
But I do know this. It's always worth covering in prayer. You hear me? Cover that bad boy in prayer. If it is something that is going to happen, Lord, let it be quick and painless. But the main prayer is, Lord, let people get their hearts right with you. Because once we slip into eternity, it is eternally too late for them to change their minds. Once reality kicks in. Okay, now, the other thing is, if it's something that can be avoided, and God's mercy can be satisfied by our prayers and repentance, well, Lord, shift that baby in another direction. Do something. But help us, one way or the other. Help us in the name of Jesus. And save those that really need to be saved. God bless you. And I admonish those of you who are sitting on the fence, scratching your heads and picking your nose, trying to make sense out of life, trying to make sense out of God. Don't try to make sense out of it. Your little pea brain is too small. Get to know him. Talk to him. Ask him some questions. Ask him to manifest himself to you. Help you to believe if you're having a difficult time doing so. But don't just sit there and do nothing. God bless you. Amen.